What's up guys? So I'm gonna be doing a full gameplay of Firewatch the game and I'm gonna start doing full gameplay walkthroughs um, yeah. <laughs> So let's get started I see her She's right there She's about your age, late 20s. Ha 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 ha, with well dressed professors and grad students. From nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. I approach her. Give her I give her a little bit of this. I'm drunk as fuck. Hey, bitch, get your, get your sexy ass over here, let's, let's get to it, uh, uh. That's what I did. Yeah, I'm gonna do that one. Cooley, you are not. You are a future hangover. Should someone buy you a cheeseburger, she says? She flags down a waiter and one week later, you and Julia, you are Julia's boyfriend. I got skills, guys. This is neat. I love the atmosphere. Wow, this is cool. Random backpack and elevator. Hey, take it. It's yours now. Man. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You drink beer just about anywhere. That, okay, that is not good. That's a deal breaker for me. Hmm, no. She wants to get a dog. Good. We need two bitches in the house. Ha! Oh! Oh my god! Woo! Woo! That was a good one. That was a good one. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There is also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German sh Oh, that's the one. German Shepherds. Ballers. Yeah, you hear that, Romeo? There's some competition out there. I'm not lying, either. Nothing bad could ever happen. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Of course. I'm gonna get the shepherd. Mayhem is an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes out with Julia out on her runs even though he is too big to bring to school. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. 1979, wow. You talk, you talk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asked. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if I have some, a couple of idiots. So I'm gonna go with one day, why rush? She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. Wow, man, what a sexy, what a sexy, uh, sexy line right there. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she said, laughing it off. One day, okay. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. No lie, guys, this game is so beautiful. It is, wow. Whenever a game's like really pretty, like I, ha I have to play it. I'm in love with pretty games. With like really good atmosphere. Man, this is awesome. Just ran into a tree.
1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call, you're worried, and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight whenever she gets between the sheets. I'm gonna get freaking pissed off, all right? Mm-mm, mm-mm. You can't party without me. I am the party, okay? How did you even have a good time if I wasn't there? Mmm, I'm mad. You are an inconsiderate asshole. Fuck yourself. Don't be such a baby. You're selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Of course it does. Because I'm the man in the house. 1981, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like Victoria's Secret model. Julia was right, you are very pretty. All right. I guess I'm on a hike. I don't know what's up with this dialogue, but I'm definitely on a hike. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm sick, so I'm like sniffing a lot and stuff. Two forks. Okay. Fat little arms. In 1982, during summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town that brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Ooh. Mayhem runs away. May my move fucking did the dog. What? Julia yells. She gets flustered and has a tr has trouble speaking, like I just did, when she is stressed. I'm not stressed though, but you comfort the attacker. No, I don't comfort. I don't comfort the attacker. The attacker. I confront the attacker. I'm not gonna comfort the attacker. I'm gonna beat his damn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. Don't. F you don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay, don't want to go that way either. From then on you walk by the river. This is intense guys. With all this with this background music and everything. I'm really I'm getting into this. 1984. Plans to have kids get way laid by work. <laughs> Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Wow, it's pretty impressive. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Man, I'm not gonna lie, that is like a huge, like that's a hard decision. Man, that is, I'm gonna try and convince her not to take the job, but you tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says this bullshit. She asks if her taking a job means you won't come with her. You say yes again. Uh, you say yes again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. Now I feel bad. Now I feel really bad. 1985, Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for, for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. <laughs> she was found crying on the stairwell. You say, you say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Wow. Oh my god. 
Are you serious? I don't want to freaking see that. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver, silver hair down his back that shows that slows down at night. And slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car that to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a uh, dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family that they you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your parents come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spent your days following Julia around the house. You count seconds between the, the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. I think I would take care of her by myself. Dang. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. So sad, guys. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after, out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. I think she would go crazy if I put a chair in front of the door. I'm gonna trust that she sleeps like a rock. You go to the same bar and the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989, one night you were stopped by a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10 and take him to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. I'm guessing this is my job. Whatever I've taken is what I'm doing right now. Yep, this is my job. So that whole story was leading up to the moment where I tell you guys what my job is. That was a little, I don't know. It, it's, that was slow. That was, I gotta say that's slow. But it does make things dramatic. I'm cool with that. I'm cool. And this game is just absolutely amazing so far. So I have nothing to complain about. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello.
Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's Hi. what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um... You've killed three ex-husbands, you're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. I'm gonna guess that one. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is I not a big shock. I can't stand you either. Yeah. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here <clears throat> simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Seems like a pretty cool job. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. Alright guys, so honestly, this is just like a killer game so far. I'm totally into this game. I can't wait to see what happens next. Um, I hope you guys like it. Share your thoughts on what you guys think so far. I know there isn't much. There's just a bunch of dialogue, but um, I think it's going to be a really cool game. I think it's going to be really exciting. And uh, like, comment, subscribe for me, and uh, share the video, and have a wonderful day.